said, it's rolling into Bridgeport now. Grace dirt modifieds, had a lot of stocks, sprints, five eighths mile. Yeah, they say it's the fastest track in the east. I'd say 130 at the end of the straights. But look, I'm here now, so let me just get on with it and I'll let you know when I plan something. A break out there. Listen, you know we got it all. I see you chasing the setup, but you ain't making the changes that I need you to make. Just trying to stay competitive, Bob. You're not gonna be seeing checker flags if you ain't at the starting line. How long I got? Beyond what I've given you already, possibly through next weekend. That's me being a sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Your boy here has been killing it in the micros. New Friday Night King. We'll be seeing you behind a big block pretty soon. Hope so. All right, fellas. What's up, Skip? I'm good on that. Come on, man. It's not gonna make me feel any better. He'll turn it around. Presenting is a sponsor of a different sort. Who remain unknown to you. He has a love for short track racing, but it's difficult for him to make it out. And when he does make the trip, he likes to put an assurance in place. He's particular. Likes to see Rex. In exchange, his contribution will be a new car, as you want it. Whatever motor, chassis, color scheme, etc. Cetera, et cetera.
You know when people talk about a pecking order? See, when it's feeding time, there's never any fights. Because the top bird gets first peck, and the bottom bird feeds last. Now, you, you've been a good barn boy for me going on a few years now. But I'm aware that you're keeping it that way because of your recreational activities. But you come here and you tell me you need an advance. So I'm telling you, if you make a commitment, if you put in the time, I could move you up the pecking order. I'd make you some money. What do you say? Yeah, I appreciate that, Walter. And uh, I'll let you get back to eating your lunch. And hey, I, I can get you on that Saturday schedule if you want. Hey, you think you were a little too free coming off last week? How much left rear are you running? Uh, about 60 pounds. You ever thought of maybe adding some? Going 100? Nah, I'm gonna change front springs and frame heights. We go back with the same left rear. Hey, Dave. <clears throat> What do you say to let me run the car this weekend? No, I, I gotta try this setup, man. Yeah, it's just um. Uh... It's just uh, you know, we're midway through the season. I'm proven in the macros, you know, if I could just get that one Saturday race, show these owners I can hold my weight behind the big block, you know? Still no, huh? I don't start running up front again, man. Yeah. You know, it's just, um... Look, if you start running up front again, and I hope you do, but that might bring on different reasons why not. You made a promise. I was fucking drunk, Skip. So you didn't mean it? Davey, you didn't mean it? Just stop talking on my fucking shirt about it. And no, not this Saturday. Are you gonna take the rest of the body off or should I just take you home? Is that what you're after? Yeah, that's what I said when I was 12. I said I was going to be a dancer when I was 12. I know. And any ding that raises the yellow flag is referred to as a wreck. So don't pull the technicality card on me. Use the word by its definition. Reduced to a state of ruin. Once that criteria is met, the rest is up to you.
by the hot cards on the big five eight mile at Bridgeport Speedway. Look, kid. See you this Saturday. <laughs> 